that was a good episode of Durara. I want to say that I'm happy that this week it became more of Durara than it was Bakano because last week that's what it felt more like. It felt like it was trying to be Bakano and that's how it felt these past couple of weeks. But now I feel as if Durara tried to be Durara, which is what it is. That's when Durara strives, when it's trying to be its own thing with its own personality. Uh, and that's why I thought that this episode was really good. Some animation derps though, at 2.46, uh, just, uh, ew. Some more, but at 3.11 there were some nice looking stoplights. I know, I noticed this type of stuff. The animation was a little better than average, I guess, except when, uh, what's his name? Forgot the guy. The guy that's in charge of the zebra striped gang, whatever the heck they're called. When he jumped on top of the guy's belly or back that he was trying to beat up, he literally just kind of slid across the screen. That did not look well. But other than that, I think that everything else looked pretty okay. Uh, in terms of story, this is what I was looking for. Uh, we, I did, I, the one thing that I did like was the detail and when the uh, characters were talking online. Uh, like the character limit, the inappropriate language block, like, <laughs> I think that type of stuff wasn't really anything to, like, uh, dramatically increase the score, but it was something that was nice just to see. It just kind of, uh, commits to the personality a bit more. Happy to see that Masaomi and Mikado might reunite. I I'm assuming they will. Uh, not necessarily as in, like, Masaomi's gonna stay back in Ikebukuro, but at least they're going to meet up for this season. I have a theory about Maasomi and Mikado, though. Here's my theory. I, I thought about this. The dollars are colorless, right? Maybe the reason- and Maasomi is the leader of the dollars. Maybe the reason he's colorless is because he wanted to forget something that he did in a gang with past colors. Why would he want to forget something he did in a gang with past colors? Because it hurt somebody that was close to him. Who's close to him? Mikado. Or not Mikado, Masaomi. So was there a possibility that Masaomi was possibly in the blue squares, which messed with, uh, forgot her name, Sachi, I think it was, if it messed with Sachi, and now Masaomi's trying to forget everything by being in the dollars? It's just a theory, but I think it, it could be really likely. Yo, when Shizuo just got tased, I was like, what just happened? And then they explain, uh, apparently this girl is supposed to be trying to be killing Shizuo. I'm thinking she's a hitman because if Celty's after her, she has to be something valuable. Now I'm wondering how valuable she is or what exactly she's being caught for. I guess we just have to wait and see about that. OST sounded great. Uh, there was a new song this episode and I, I just lost it. I like how Celty also has a rival at this point. Uh, and I think that's about it. I'm wondering how Celty's rival is going to end up being. I wonder if she's going to be more of a rival than uh, the police cops, because the police cops are more like an enemy. I wonder if the police cops are going to have to fight her and the rival. Uh, we'll just have to see about that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment. I'm going to try to get Death Party's review out today. I didn't watch it yesterday because I thought it was going to uh, suck me, but it didn't. Uh, it was actually pretty good. So I'll see you guys later. Deuces.